Florida State fans across Tallahassee are frustrated with that 0-4 start, and it's starting to show economically. ABC 27's Mike Cho shows us what some businesses are seeing as the Seminoles continue to fight for their first win of the season. Frustrated football fans in Tallahassee. I went to the first two games, and I didn't even bother going to this one, and I had to take it just because I didn't want to. I, 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 couldn't, I can't watch this anymore. While others hold on to hope the Seminoles can still turn their season around. We need to win out. Easy. We need to win some games. We need to show some horror, some hustle. That's it. FSU football is a huge money maker for the capital city. When the team doesn't do well, tourism drops, and local places like Railroad Square's Craft House feel the impact. When they're not doing as well, unfortunately, the tourism does drop a good bit. Um, uh, you see people giving away more of their tickets instead of traveling from out of town because the prices of the hotels are still pretty high for those weekends and they don't want to spend all that money to watch a losing game, unfortunately. During FSU's season opener against Notre Dame, the Craft House saw record high sales, 40% higher than normal weekends. Co-owner Justine Spells says although the boost was good coming off of COVID-19 restrictions, they're now expecting to see plateaued weekend sales for the rest of the football season. Thankfully, we're not as greatly affected as some places that are purely a sports bar or FSU um, football-oriented places. For Capital City Pedicabs, home game days are the busiest days of the year, from giving out more than 50 rides the first game to less than three times that this weekend. It felt busier the last first game and then throughout just been steady, but it's an uphill battle from here, we all know that. Fans across Tallahassee all hoping for the best for the next eight weeks of the season. I just want something, I just want to bring something from this, so there's not a whole lot of hope. In Tallahassee, Micah Cho for ABC 27.